Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. In honor of National Women's Health and Fitness Day, which is officially this Saturday, we wanted to talk about some of the major health issues women are facing. And here to answer all of our questions, or at least some of them, is our resident doctor, Dr. Dave. He is in the house. Hey, hey, hey. hey Dr. Dave. Good to have Great you back you on, on our new season. New season three. New year. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Clean it in the board of health. Absolutely. You see how sharp. Oh, I just said, come on now. man is cleaning <laughs> it in the board of health. You know when I come down, I got to try to put it together. I like your pocket square. You got all going on. Down yeah. the circle. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, of down, a down, big downer is heart disease, yeah, Dr. Dave. Be, yeah. and, um, we love when you come to the circle because you do so well in expounding on all of the elements that we need to pay attention to yeah. um, when, it, when it pertains to heart disease. Yeah. So one of the questions that I have is, you know, we think of heart disease, we think of working out to combat obesity. Yeah. Is, is that going to, is that one of the things that's going to keep it at bay? And if so, and let's say you still have to be on heart medication, yeah. is all heart disease medication safe? Mm. Yeah. So that's a really, that's a whole segment right there, oh, okay. which we just talked about. But here's what I'll say. We should be continuing to talk about heart disease. Yes. You know, some people say, you know, why do you always talk about heart disease when you get on there? You know, we heard about that before. And, and you know, I'll say, okay, I'll stop. I'll mm. stop talking about heart disease as soon as women stop dying needlessly mm. of heart disease. Of heart then I'll disease. stop, wow. right? You know, one of the major drivers in African-American women um, uh, uh, that keeps them at the top of the list of people who die from heart disease is obesity, this metabolic syndrome we call it. Right. I call it the muffin top syndrome. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. You think that's cute? That's not cute. You say you because, think that's cute. Okay. <laughs> because because what's really happening inside the body, not you per se, but you know, people think that, that you know that used to be a thing. Yeah. Um, you've got all of this stuff happening in your body that's eroding your blood vessels. And when mm -hmm. it erodes your blood vessels 10, 15 years down the line, you're not thinking about that muffin top when you're in the ER, can't right. move an arm or having right. a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna keep talking about it. The main thing that we tell women to do, irrespective of where you are and how much money you got, go get your heart screened. I know mm -hmm. something in the back of your head like, oh, I should get my heart screened, I should get my heart, go get it done. Mm -hmm. Because it's really that, sad when a woman dies from heart is disease. Is that the same as the one where we have like um, the physical and the, the, the little, uh, the EKGs. The EKGs. Or is, that, is, or is just the beginning. Deeper? Okay. You you must go deeper because an EKG can be completely normal and somebody mm. can die the next day. Oh, oh my God. God. Right. Okay. Um, and so the the message is not a scary one. The message is it's still eighty five percent preventable. But how are you going to prevent it if you don't know if you, you have don't it? Know. Right. Mm. When women stop saying, Oh, I don't, I don't have a family history of heart disease. I'm good. When we stop saying that, when we stop saying because I don't feel anything, I don't have heart disease, mm -hmm. then you'll stop hearing Dr. Dave talk about heart disease, wow. okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Well, Dr. Dave, I want you to talk about the big C, too, yeah. mm -hmm. when yeah, it is great. regards uh, and pertains to women. What are the, the big C cancer, the three main cancers that women need to look out for? Yeah, so, you know, cancer screening really is um, a big deal, just like heart screening, because early detection quad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is the name of the game. And there are too many women of color who won't stick to the screens. And, and I talked to uh, one of my OBGYN friends, Tasha Rogers, and mm -hmm. she said that many women just think to themselves, I don't need anything else on my plate. Mm. I don't want to deal with that, so I'm not gonna go get screened. They're afraid. Wow. They're afraid of what the consequences might be, and here's the deal. They're dealing with everybody else's everything, including your girl who sent you a text yesterday about her boyfriend and this mm -hmm. and that and the other. She sure did. It, right? <laughs> and, 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 and you're gonna help her take care of that as well as your family and everybody mm -hmm. else, but forget to take care of yourself, and yeah. I think it's time out for you. So, right. so it's like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, That's lung exactly right. Thanks for bringing all. me right back on in yep. there. So, so, <laughs> so either breast cancer, cervical cancer, um, ovarian. and ovarian cancer. Lung. These are all, if you have any of those organs, you should get them checked. Okay. There is no, okay. hey, it's not in my family. Okay. Ooh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. we all know that smoking and drinking is a big issue in the community, but let's get back to this whole lung cancer thing. Yeah. Because this whole vaping phenomenon is yeah, just like overtaking right. really the yeah. airwaves. Yeah. So tell us about some concerns we need to have. Yeah. With this so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to answer that without getting the FCC on our case. <laughs> if y'all don't stop smoking stuff, I don't know what I'm <laughs> Just stop. Maybe on Instagram, boomerang, boop, 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 boop. They're smoking like like vaping and, and hookah and, and me it, it is that's not good. Don't and, do the hookah. And first Dr. of all, Dave. it's not cute. So I'm mm. married, but if I weren't married and I saw you hooking on boomerang. Hooking, hooking. That's hooking. not right. You're hooking on <laughs> boomerang. Hooking. Then, then I'm, then I'm I mean, it's not cute. And then you can have heart disease, mm -hmm. cancer, 
and lung disease from it. So we want people to stop doing all of this. So why do you think it, it, it's such a focal point right now for, for vaping? Because people have been hookahing for a really long time. <laughs> they have, but it's, jo it's enjoyed a resurgence, just like cigars. You know, there's more women at cigar bars mm -hmm. nowadays than men. No, no, no. And, and, and it's just cool now. Marketing is amazing, mm -hmm. right? It's wow. like the you know Popeye's chicken sandwich. Marketing Ooh, is amazing. It's delicious, though. Right? <laughs> right. So, yeah. so, so you talked about uh, you know being in so many different uh, directions, taking care of other people. Yeah. But uh, women, I mean, we all I think have experienced some type of an uh, anxiety and depression. Yeah. So let's talk about that when yeah. it comes to women and yeah. us taking on everybody else's yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. And, and our own as well. And that's one of the main reasons, yeah. right? Um, and we don't talk about that stuff. Right? There's a woman sitting next to you right now who might be having anxiety or depression. Here's what a uh, psychiatrist told me. We don't ask. Mm. We don't ask. Isn't it heartbreaking when somebody takes their own life? Yeah. We don't ask if, how are you doing? Really, sincerely, how are you doing? Right. And if we would just ask and get to help, a lot of that stuff is treatable. Yes. A lot of it is treatable. See you today at 12 o'clock, Dr. Joy. Yeah, I know that's right, right about I, it. I love it. Come on. I love it. Yes. So I want to talk a little bit about my fibroids yeah. that I don't have anymore. Amen. But, you know, I started at Jesus. I, you know, I started my own journey with fibroids, and I had the surgery excessive procedure uh, back uh, in March. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about why is it that African American women yes. are so disproportionately uh, diagnosed? Yeah. Why, why yeah. is that? Going so on? it's it's not really clear why women of color, especially African women of African descent, develop so many of these fibroids. Fibroids are little benign tumors mm -hmm. that develop in the uterus. Some of them can be very very large, mm -hmm. and they affect fertility. They um, uh, I have women in my clinic whose blood levels are so low because their cycles are so heavy and so Ooh, prolonged. Um, and many of them just don't want. They, they're they're of the mindset I don't. If I was born with it, I don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. um, but you also don't want to just pass out and never wake up because. Right. Your blood levels are so low. And so that can't what happen. you did absolutely it has happened. Mm -hmm. What you did cannot be understated as one of the most courageous things and I really commend you and applaud oh, you. Dr. Dr. Um, I appreciate and people that. People should really take a thank you. Yeah, thank take you. A yeah. here. My thank goodness, you so my goodness. Well, well what is this coming down the oh, line? Well here? you know what I thought. I, I thought <laughs> that since you down. guys brighten up so many Sorry. lives. Oh. And, and in your breath of fresh air I thought I could bring some nice bright yeah. flowers with a nice okay. Fragrance oh. scent to say congratulations. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah. really impact so many lives. Happy season three. Thank yes. Many, Thank many you. more to come, but this one's the best one yet. How yeah, about it? Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Dave. He's always amazing. Still and so if you nice. want more information and health tips from Dr. Dave, please check out his preventative care practice at preventatl.com. It is absolutely awesome.